What's going on, everybody? It is April 29th. It is a Wednesday. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe. So what's going on today? Well, Batwoman is back in the headlines again with another collapse in ratings, which really shouldn't be a surprise. But this is this is different as this is the worst ratings they've reported yet for the series. Now, this show is going to be the gift that keeps on giving for a lot of reasons, because don't forget, there's a season two coming of this trash fire. <laughs> They announced it right away, like after the first three episodes, like, yeah, season two is coming. Then I've noticed they've been really quiet about this. They haven't really said anything ever since that season two announcement. I I do think you're going to get a season two. Here's the thing, though. I think they're going to probably only order four or five episodes and they're going to wrap it up. So because this show has the right agenda, it's going to get a proper ending. Unlike other shows, you know, there's been some really good shows in the past that they got nixed and never got proper endings. Don't worry though. This show is going to get one, which is ridiculous. But anyway, let's, let's read up on this a little bit. The CW's Batwoman series starring Ruby Rhodes posted its worst viewership numbers in its debut season with its latest episode, a narrow escape. According to TV series, final Batwoman's a narrow escape was only viewed by 634,000 people and posted a .20 rating in the 18-49 through 49 demographic. This is the worst viewership the show has had in its first season since it premiered on October 6, 2019. The last time the show had viewership under 700,000 was on January 26 with an unbirthday present. Now, here's, what fu- here's what's funny to me about Batwoman, is the comic was pretty good. I don't know what it's like now. I haven't been reading it. I read a little bit of it when it first came out. And the character's actually all right. The comic was actually all right as well. Uh, people I talked to liked it. And that's fine. Uh, I I was reading the when the character was in Detective Comics during James Tyrion the Fourth's run, where he kind of had Tim Drake and Cassandra Kane and Clayface and Batman kind of running this really organized task force to clean up Gotham. This is a good book. It's a good series. She was on that team. And... She was a good character in that book as well. The problem is, instead of telling a good story with this series, they decided to run identity politics and go completely woke with it. A really good example of the cringe that this show is, is the episode where there was gossip that apparently Batwoman might be dating this this policeman or something. Does she have a crush on him? So there was a gossip tabloid running around. So the character... Batwoman. Batwoman is into chicks, which is fine. Who cares? The The thing, though, is here's where it's cringy. <laughs> she, she decided she needed to clear that up because she wants everyone to know that Bat, the, I'm talking about the secret identity. The woman who is Batwoman wanted everyone to know that Batwoman's into chicks. So she calls up Supergirl, who is a reporter in another series, but she cameos over in this series to give an exclusive report on what, on who Batwoman likes to bang. (laughs) Not the secret identity, not a reveal or anything. No, not about Kate. Instead, it's about Batwoman and her preferences. I mean, that's pretty cringy. These are the kinds of episodes this series has had. Okay. I think anybody in their identity or their preferences doesn't want a story like that. In my opinion, they would like stories like anybody would like a good narrative, well-written that's, that's cringe. That's crap. And that's why you're seeing these ratings drop is because, I mean, that's the best example for why this show is a trash fire. In my opinion is that little scenario. I just told you that's the kind of plot lines they've had for the show. That's the kind of show this is. That's probably one of the stupidest plots I've ever heard, but hey, come up with a plot like that. You too can work in Hollywood and be a writer. Imagine the the table of writers when they were coming up with that scenario. Oh, oh yeah, that's so, so brave. Oh, it's just so stunning. That's <laughs> so ridiculous. So anyway, the show has been on a relatively steady decline since it was first aired. Its premiere episode was viewed at 1.86 million viewers and had an 18 through 49 demo rating of 0.47 by the second episode it dropped to 1.45 million with a rating of 0.35 that's an over 22 percent decline in viewership the show would continue to bleed viewership until the crisis on infinite earth's crossover episode on december 9th 
titled Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 2. That episode saw viewership boom to 1.704 million and a rating of 0.60. Now, here's why that had a boom. So that whole Infinite Earths crossover, that so you have multiple shows in the air over. You had Arrow, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, um... Am I missing some Batwoman and a few, maybe one or two others? So they all had stopped having regular episodes. And what happened was they had, you know, Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever. So now you're exposing the character to a bunch of new people. So they probably saw the character in the show and decided, well, I'll hop on over there and see what this Batwoman show is all about. What did they get to that? The episode that I described earlier. <laughs> about her wanting to come out and set the record straight on who Batwoman likes to hook up with. And ever since then, the show has plummeted. And they say it right here. However, it was short. It was a short-lived viewership boost. The following episode was How Q Everything Is Today, which aired on January 19, 2020. Saw viewership plummet to below 1 million for the first time. It, had, it only had 791,000 viewers. The 18 through 49 demo rating also plummeted to 0.20. The next episode, viewership would plunge to below 700,000 with only 674,000 people tuning in for an unbirthday present. It would reach a viewership high for 2020 with the next episode, February 16th, Take Your Choice. It had a viewership of 848,000 and a rating of 0.23. From there, the show would continue to decline. The next three episodes would have viewerships, viewership at 815,000, 751, then 749. There would be a slight rebound on March 22nd. With 765. However, the next episode was the most recent posted, the lowest viewership ratings ever for the show at 634,000. Overall, the show has seen its viewership decline by over 65% since its premiere. The declining viewership reflects audience ratings of the show below, right here, 13% out of 7,864 people over on Rotten Tomatoes for season one. So the show sucks. And it's just funny to me that they went and re-upped it right away, thinking it was a success. Unfortunately for CW, uh, taking this huge woke turn didn't work out very well for them. And now the show is going broke with viewers. Uh, it's going to be really interesting. How many episodes of this are left? It seems like it's so random. Like, is this in this series done yet? You know, how many how many more do they have to go for the first season? You order a full, do they order a full season for the show based on what? Would they just bring in like four blue haired people for a, for like ratings on it to see what they thought and said, Oh, we got a smashing success. Didn't they like pitch this to normal people? I, I don't get it. So we'll see what happens. I can't wait for season two. Season two is going to be glorious because if it's down that low right now, at 643,000. How low is it going to get by season two? Now, I think that's going to be great to watch. Well, the real question is, will they let that embarrassment happen? Are they going to push for season two? And maybe they'll rebound it, tell good stories. I doubt it, but we'll see. Either way, I love a good trash fire, and this show definitely is not disappointing. Anyway, that's really it. We don't need to stretch it out any longer. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave me your comments below. What do you think about this? Are you shocked? Throw a like up if you would. Share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.